Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla and it's time to crack into a good book. So today I thought I would do like a bit of a bookshelf tour because um, like, you know, I mean, you can only see a, a certain amount in my videos and this is not the only bookshelf I have. Um, so yeah, I thought it'd be fun to just kind of show you around and, you know, look at all the books I have. Um, so I think when I, the next time I'm home visiting my parents, I want to do another bookshelf tour because I think like I've got less than half of the books that I own here. Um, and like, you know, just kind of get a sense of what all I have. So with that, let's just get started. So we've got, we'll start at the top of this. So up here we've got like, we have an, an evolution clock and then we've got like all of our Animal Crossing amiibos. So this is the bookshelf that you can see behind me when I'm filming. Here we've got books one through four of the Expanse series and then up here I've got, what, five through seven and then we've got, so generally I've tried to like keep series together but um, you know there's there's only so much I can fit on these shelves. Sometimes I have to like split them up a little bit. Um, but yeah, so we'll start I guess up here. So we've got books five through seven of The Expanse, um, Head On, which is the sequel to Lock In by John Scalzi. Um, we've got Sins of Empire, Wrath of Empire by Brian McClellan, uh, Empire of Silence and Howling Dark by Christopher Rocchio. We've got the Live Ship Traders uh, trilogy by Robin Hobb. We've got Wolf and the Whale, which is a, a really fun, like, atmospheric Inuit slash Norse fantasy. Um, Kill the Queen and Protect the Prince by Jennifer Eastip. Polaris Rising by Jesse Mihalik. Uh, the Genius Plague by David Walton. Then the shelf below, we got books one through four of The Expanse. Um, we've got several of these Lisa Sheeran books, which I've talked about in my author spotlight video. Uh, the Isle of Gold, which is like like a Pirates of the Caribbean inspired fantasy book. Um, I remember really liking it. It has a really cool cover. Let me, uh, hang on, let me actually show it to you. I mean, like, take a look at that. I think our main character is like the daughter of J Davy Jones or something like that. Then we have The Song of Achilles by Madeline Mar Miller. Um, the Forever War. We've got A Sand and Malice Made by Badly Bradley Bollier. So this is like a little short story in the Song of the Shattered Sands. Uh, series, which I really like. Um, we've got a couple of the zombie series by Dan or Roland. Um, I have a couple of them on my Kindle and I think a couple of other ones at home um, with my parents. So, you know, I think those are like the last two books in the series. Then we've got, what is this, the Tiny Man trilogy by Robin Hobb. Over here, City of Brass and Kingdom of Copper. Um, we've got the whole, the Winter Night trilogy, I think, is that right? Uh, Every Heart a Doorway. We've got like a Helen of Troy um, book by Margaret George. I really like The Trojan War, so this was like a really great book. Um, we've got Level Grind and Boss Fight, which are like kinds ups of the 20 Sided Sorceress series, which is like a really fun urban fantasy. Um, then we've got The Empress Game, books one, of, one and two. Um, I've talked about that a couple times on my channel. Don't read book three. Um, we've got The Republic of Thieves by Scott Lynch, which is like the third book in the. Lock Lamora series, Gentleman Bastards, is that right? I think that's right. Um, then we've got some of the Grave Witch series by Kalina Price and this like gold feather thing, bookmark. Um, then we've got, yeah, a couple of the books of The Song of the Shattered Sands, Into the Drowning Deep, uh, An Alchemy of Masks and Mirrors. Um, we've got books three through five of the Lady Trent series. I have books one and two on my Kindle. Um, then we've got um, the Athena Club series, books one and two by Theodora Goss. Lots of Shauna McGuire books over here. This is all the encrypted series. Yeah. Um, one of the Alex Ferris Barrett books. We've got Binti. Um, the Six World series by Rebecca Roanhorse. Um, whatever this series is called by Agent Vincent. It's like a, it's a really good paranormal romance series that I really like. Short story collection of, in the Mercedes Thompson world. Um, then we'll move over. So we've got the, what is this, Swords and Fire Trilogy by, by Melissa Caruso. This is a really great series. Highly recommend it. Um, we've got the books one and two of the Greta Van Helsing series by Vivian Shaw. Um, we've got The Beast Heart, which is a, a really great retelling of Beauty and the Beast. Um, several of my James Rowland books. I think these are all the Sigma Force books. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Um, so we've got Jacoby, another Shauna McGuire book. Um, this is like the Invisible Library series. No, sorry, that's not right. This is the Great Library series by Rachel King. Um, we've got Red Rising, the third book. My fiance's brother is borrowing it. Um, 
And then, yeah, Six Wakes, which is a, a fun sci-fi closed circle murder mystery. Red Shirts by Scalzi. Um, the Soul of an Octopus. And then these are books two and three in the Agent of Hell series by Jacqueline Carey. Um, it's a really good paranormal romance. And then we've got some of the, let's see, I thought I had, oh yeah, we'll zoom out a little bit. We've got some of the books down here and then some up here. Um, uh, this is like the Charlie Davidson series by Dorinda Jones. It's a, it's a pretty funny um, paranormal romance series. Then we've got the initial, um, whatever this is called, like the Fitz series by Robin Hobb trilogy. Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. Um, this is like a short story collection in the Iron Druid series, Lock In by Scalzi. Um, we've got some of the books down here of the, what is this, the Twelve Houses series by Sharon Shin. Um, it's a, I really like that. It's a fantasy series, uh, like a high fantasy series. Um, more of the Charlie Davidson books. Then we've got like the um, Cormoran Strike books by J.K. Rowling. Um, this is a short story collection of from Sarah Douglas, who is a really great author. I like her a lot. Most of those books are back at my parents' house, so you'll see them when I, you know, show you those books. Uh, this is a short story collection from Juliet Marillier. Um, obviously, the Brian McClellan Powder Mage trilogy. Um, this is the Valiant by Leslie Livingston, and I talked about the Defiant, I think, on. This is uh, one of my, my wrap-ups, I think. Um, Witch Mark. And we've got more of the Mercedes Thompson slash Alpha. No These ones are Alpha and Omega series. Um, we've got my Court of Thorns and Roses series, um, Things Happen Shadow. Then we've got, what is this, The Empire of Storms trilogy by John Scrovran. Scrovran? I don't know. Um, a couple books in the Cal Leandra series. Spinning Silver. Um, a couple of the... This is books one and two of the, what is it, the Interdependency series by Scalzi. Um, these are some really great thrillers by Rachel Kane. Uh, I just really like this series a lot. Um, I'll probably talk about it at some point on my channel and do an author spotlight because I, I like Rachel Kane quite a bit. Um, this is Honor Among Thieves, which is actually co-written by Rachel Kane. Uh, we've got some of the mm, Second Era Mistborn books and Arcanum Unbounded. Um, which is like a whole bunch of short stories from Brandon Sanderson's works. Um, so down here we have a book about Pawnee, <laughs> which is like from Parks and Rec, and then Amy Poehler's like autobiography, uh, Legion, which is, you know, it's like a, it's like three short stories of that like are, are you bound up, whatever. Um, Fire and Blood, which is, you know, like the Targaryen history um, from George R. R. Martin, uh, seven, seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, which is a, kind of interesting. So this one, I think in the UK, is branded as Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, but here in the US, it's Seven and a Half. But yeah, anyway. Um, so then we have the books one and two of the Lycanius trilogy. We've got Skyward, a whole bunch of Kelly Armstrong books. Um, so this, let's see. These ones are a thriller series. Um, it was like Casey Duncan, maybe. It's like set kind of, I think it's in the Yukon or something like that. It's really good. Highly recommend it. Uh, these ones are the Canesville series. Um, I, I may be missing one here. And then this is like a standalone thriller. Then we've got The Lost Queen, which is like a, I think it's like follows the sister of Merlin, maybe. I, I don't remember, but it was really good. Um, Tempest and Slaughter by... Tamara Pierce, um, this is like the first book in the Numer, is that how you pronounce his name? I don't know, um, series. I highly enjoyed that. Uh, she's an awesome author. Stiletto, which is the sequel to The Rook, and then I've got Nevernight in God's Grave, The Poppy War, and then the, um, the Book of the Ancestor trilogy. So obviously, like, I'm going to have to make room for Dark Dawn and the Dragon Republic here. So, like, my shelves do change. From so these are mostly my fiance's books. We've got a whole bunch of Lego Star Wars. Um, so we will start here. So I've read several of these, like I've read Station Eleven and The Dog Stars. Have not read either of these or Hyperion. Um, I've read Foundation. What is this? Some of the Ender's books, Ender, Ender's Game books, slash Ender Shadow. Um, American Gods, not my favorite. The Martian's really good. I have not read Life of Pi. Dune, I, okay, this may be an unpopular opinion, but I did not like Dune. Um, I've read the first two books in the Old Man's War series by Scalzi. I really like them. Um, then we've got, like, a whole bunch of Michael Crichton books, which I've read, I think, most of. And then down here, I've got a whole bunch of stuff. 
several Star Wars things. I've read the fifth season, was kind of underwhelmed by it. Um, I got his copies of Game of Thrones and King Killer Chronicles and some, you know, OG Timothy Zahn, Thrawn trilogy books, uh, which we actually did get him to sign, I think, Heir, Heir to the Empire. Um, then he's got the Witcher books, um, a Dan Brown book. I've been trying to get him to read this. I bought this for him for Valentine's Day several years ago, and he has not read it. Um, then we've got, like, a couple of stacks of books over here that, like, I just have not found room for them yet. So I've, I've already talked about all these on my channel. Um, but then we've got, I think this is his, like, unread book. Well, no, he's read some of these books. Um, I don't even know what all these are. <laughs> Uh, I, so a couple of these I actually have already read and gave to him um, because he was kind of interested in reading them. We'll go over here. So this is where my like awesome bookends that my best friend got me for my birthday are. Um, so we've got like, this is Julie Dillon. She's an artist and she's done like quite a bit for uh, various like covers of fantasy books. There's like my little crochet squid. Um, Tolkien. This is where we kind of keep like the larger books, I guess. We've got like several D&D books. What is this? Oh, that's my, this is my like Wonder Woman making of book. Um, we've got, so this, this is a mixture of my books and my fiance's books. Um, we've got like this Zelda book. We've got several Zelda books. Yeah. This is, what is this one? Art and Artifacts. We've got Aquaman. Um, what are these? Wonder Woman and Injustice 2. And then we've got, these are mine. Um, like, this is, uh, who's this by? Like, Carrie Fry, maybe? Um, but we've got, like, uh, yeah, illustrated um, original Pokemon thing. There's an Animal Crossing book, um, you know, a couple of Zelda books. But it's, like, it's really cute artwork. Um, so then we have a a Zitz um, comic book. That's mine. Let's see. Oh, one of my Calvin and Hobbes. Yes, I love Calvin and Hobbes. Um, I have, I do have all of them, but they are not all here. And then these are mine. These are like books. You're inside Game of Thrones, making your Game of Thrones seasons one and two, and then three and four. Um, oh, characters from Tolkien. Um, what is this? Oh my God, this heavy. This is a book about mythology that is, like, gigantic, dear God. Um, <laughs> then we have, I think this is World of Ice and Fire, yep. Um, another Zelda book, well, this one is Hyrule Historia. And then this is the, like, guide to Breath of the Wild. And then, so this is, like, a foldable bookshelf that I have, which is really cool. Um, so this top shelf is, like, all unread books. Um, obviously, I have more than this that I have not read, but they live on my TBR carts. <laughs> so we've got um, Hyperbole and a Half, and then this, like, you know, Leather Bound, Lord of the Rings, and Hobbit editions, um, Children of Huron. Um, we've got, you know, the Stormlight Archive books. This glare is really terrible. I'm sorry about that. Um, more Tolkien, uh, My King Killer Chronicles. Um, we've got a couple of these, like, what is it? The Elemental series or something like that by Mercedes Lackey. Um, I really like that. And then we've got like all of my October Day books. Um, we'll pull these out first. There's the Invisible Library series, um, another Kelly Armstrong book, and another of these um, Elemental whatever series by Mercedes Lackey. Then here's like all of the uh, the October Day series. Um, more Kelly Armstrong, and then up here we have the Slow Regard of Silent Things by Patrick Rothfuss. All right, so then down here we have Saga Volumes 1 through 8. Then we've got the uh, Queens of Renthia trilogy by Sarah Beth Thurst, plus like this standalone, The Deepest Blue. Um, I guess we'll, we'll start with these ones because I have to move them. So my audio was doing weird stuff, so I'm just doing a voiceover, but we have um, one of the Iron Druid series, Foundry Side, a Kate Daniels book, Starless. Um, the Veil, which is like a, an urban fantasy set in New Orleans. Um, Kings of the Wild. Uh, Breach, which is like a it's an alternate Cold War history novel. Um, the Deepest Blue, which is part of the Queens of Renthia series. Um, Empire of Sand. The Unhunted Mooters and A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. 
then I'm moving stuff out of the way. Then there's more of the Kate Daniels series, um, the Blackthorn and Grimm trilogy by Juliet Marillier. Uh, then we've got several of the others series books by Anne Bishop. The lighting down here is terrible, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> you can't really see much. Um, then more more of the other series and world of the others. Um, this is like a an urban fantasy series by Laura Resnick. Um, I think this is the eighth one, and I don't know what the status of, of is of, of this this book series. Um, you know, all my Game of Thrones books. And then down here we have like making of the Hobbit movies, um, some of the Sandman graphic novels, more Hobbit making of movies, um, another Sandman up, up there at the mm -hmm. top. There's Saga Volume 9, and then there's the Hawkeye by Matt Fraction um, graphic novel, which my best friend got me and have not continued, but I really liked it. It's definitely a, a good one. So again, the audio was doing weird stuff, but this is a bookshelf that I have with all my textbooks. Um, I It's only textbooks because I didn't want to overload the shelves since I've got like a whole bunch of fragile stuff here. So these are all like sea urchin shells that I've collected while scuba diving. Um, I've got a like southwestern ocarina over there and some like glass octopus figurines. Uh, textbooks, I've got a little brickhead's bell. Um, yeah, some th fun stuff here. So yeah, this is like the most boring bookshelf ever. Kind of had to rearrange stuff because like I've completely run out of room. So I've got, you know, this is also where I keep all my video games. So, you know, I've got like PS4, Nintendo Switch, DS, 3DS, uh, PS2. Yeah, so I think I've talked about a lot of these on my, my channel. Um, yep, there's The Ruin of Kings down here. Uh, Jade City, which is a really good book and I want to pick up the sequel but have not. Um, yeah, Cersei, Voodoo Killings. I think I've talked about a lot of these actually. Rain the Earth is over here, which you can kind of see. Um, and then there's like all my movies over here. Then we have this like little table thingy. There, we've got like this Hobbit art print, um, several Star Wars brickheads. So we've got like, you know, the whole Star Wars theme shelf, uh, The Last, and like this is a, what is this even called? One of the James Rollins books. Um, some Jay Kristoff books, Jim Butcher, uh, the Draconis Memoria Trilogy, Language of Thorns, All the Other Afters, Warlock Holmes, which is like a really silly uh, retelling of like a supernatural Sherlock Holmes, basically. Um, An Illusion of Thieves, My Lovely Wife. Then I have this entire like box of books in this closet. So let's dig into this. Honestly, I don't remember what all is in here. So we will see. Okay, so I've taken all of these out of the box so we can actually look at them. Um, so I've got Clariel, which is like the fourth book in the Old Kingdom series, I think. Um, this is an anthology, stories from the world of Sookie Stackhouse. Um, this is one of the books in the later books in the Noble Dead series. Um, then we've got Silver on the Roll Road, which you can talk, Silver on the Road and Cold Eye. Um, the, these are like the Devil's West books. I remember, I think this one's the first one. Um, I really liked, it's like a Western inspired fantasy world. I really liked this one. This one was like really kind of a bummer. So I don't, I don't know. There, I think it's supposed to be a trilogy, but I haven't bought the third one yet and read it. So I don't know if I will. Um, then we've got, this is, I think the last book in the Hollows series by Kim Harrison. Um, this is like a, I don't know if this was supposed to be a series and just like didn't turn into one. Um, but it's like a, a fun, like paranormal romance series, gin and juice. Um, then we've got Woman in the Window. Um, oh, wait, this may actually be the last. Yeah, this is the last one in the Iron Druid Chronicles. So ignore what I said about the other <laughs> Kevin Hart book. Um, we've got another anthology, Carney Punk, um, that has like Rachel Kane. Oh, Jennifer Eastup's in this. Uh, Kevin Hearn, Sean and McGuire, Rob Thurman. Um, I seem to remember it being a pretty good anthology. Then we have like this really nice. Um, Barnes & Noble, like, special edition of the Foundation Trilogy. I didn't love that trilogy, but it's, like, a really pretty cover, so that's kind of why I've hung on to it for so long, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'll keep end up keeping that. Um, we have The City of Mirrors, which is the last book in the Passage Trilogy. Um, this is The Turning Season, which is a book in Sharon Shin's, like, shifter romance novels. Um, Rogues, which is an anthology. Um... 
Blood Infernal by James Rollins. This is like, I think the third in whatever the series is that has like vampires and stuff. Oh my god, all these are falling over. <laughs> then we have The Starlet Wood, which is an anthology edited by the same people who did um, Robots vs. Fairies. This one's really good. I, I did like that one. And we have the third book in the All Souls trilogy, The Book of Life. I've got also some wrapping paper here because that's <laughs> where I store it. Um, Ember in the Ashes. Then we have Tower Lord and Queen of Fire. These are the Raven Shadow books two and three. I have book one elsewhere in this box, which we will see. Um, got Children of Time, Haunted Nights, which is a pretty good anthology. It's like all you know, ghostly stories. Um, I won an arc last year of Children of Blood and Bone. Uh, also won this copy of Study and Honor, which is like a female retelling of Sherlock Holmes. Um, Night Flyers and other stories. I seem to remember Night Flyers being really good, but the other stories were maybe not as good. Um, Phoenix Unbound by Grace Draven. Draven. Uh, the Fortune Teller by Gwendolyn Womack. Uh, we have The Turn by Kim Harrison. So this is like a spinoff of the Hollow series, and I think she was supposed to do like a whole, this is like a prequel, but um, I think there's only been one book so far. Then we've got Age of Myth, which is the first of the Legends of First Empire by Michael J. Sullivan. Um, I liked this, but not as much as like his, was it the Rai, Rairia, Rairia, whatever, um, books. And we've got uh, the eighth book in the Outlander series, um, Dawn of Wonder, which was, I think is maybe like a self-published book. Um, but it was, it was surprisingly good. I enjoyed it, but I, I don't think the series has continued so far. <laughs> then we have The Moaning of Life, which I think my dad got um, when we were in England. Yep, I think I think so. But yeah, this is like the, what is this? The An Idiot Abroad. Um, it's just kind of like his stories, I guess, and just experiences. It was pretty funny. Um, then we have... Shadow Study and Night Study by Maria V. Snyder. So this is like in the Poison Study series. Um, I really liked the original Poison Study series and like some of the other series, but this one, like, I don't know if I just outgrew her writing or what. My audio was doing we weird things again, so I'm just recording over this. But yeah, so this seemed more like YA than I remembered, and I don't know. I just didn't love it as much. Um, so this is Lion Share, which is like a spinoff of Rachel Vincent's um, Shifter series. And yeah, it was it was pretty good. Um, then we have Wedding Bells, Magic Spells, which is one of the Rain Benara series books by Lisa Sheeran. Uh, then we have Four Dead Queens with a lovely shiny cover. Um, it was a really interesting premise, but execution was not as good as I was hoping for. Um, then there's also The Hazel Wood, which was surprisingly good, also a very shiny cover. Um, I'm definitely going to pick up the sequel when it comes out, I think, later this year. And then we have Descendant of the Crane. So then we have Bound by Flames by Janine Frost. So I think this is like the Night Prince series, which is like all about um, Vlad, Prince Dracula, whatever. Um, it's definitely a paranormal romance, and he's he's got some abs on that cover. Um, then there's a, what is this, Night Shift, which is a, an anthology um, with Alona Andrews, so there's a Kate Daniel series. Now, I think Milla Vane is the pen name for somebody, and I can't remember who, but I, I'm pretty sure that Mara from Books Like Woe was talking about this, like, fairly recently, so I'm going to have to look that up and and take a, yeah, just <laughs> to see what it is. Um, so then we have the initial trilogy of the Hidden Legacy series, so there's Burn For Me, um, White Hot, and Wildfire. So evidently, as the books progress, we are putting on more clothes, <laughs> so that's, that's kind of entertaining. Um, then there's Diamond Fire, which is like a little novella between the initial trilogy and the new trilogy. Then there's Shadowed Souls, which is an anthology. Um, there's a Jim Butcher, you know, Dresden Files short story here about, about Molly. So I think in the, um, whatever the Dresden Files short story collection is that came out recently. I think they have a reprint of this story um, in it. And there's also a Shauna McGuire short story in it, evidently. Uh, so then we have the four books of the Veronica Speedwell series by Deanna Rayborn.
So then we have uh, books two and three of this series that I can't remember what it's called, maybe the Seven Kingdoms or something like that. Um, but Fire Prince and the Blood Curse. The first book is the Sentinel, Sentinel Mage, um, and I remember really liking that, but I think these books were maybe not as good. Um, then we have Vengeance of the Demon and Legacy of the Demon by Diana Rowland, and this is her demon series. Um, I think her zombie series is actually a little bit better. Um, I seem to remember really liking it at first, and then things just kind of went downhill. I think Legacy of the Demon is the last book, and I remember just being like really confused with what was going on. Uh, so then we have some of the Kitty Norville books. I think this one's the last one, Kitty Saves the World. Um, and then we have Low Midnight, which is like a spinoff following one of the main characters from the, the series. Um, it was it was a good series. They're a fun urban fantasy series. Um, then we have Midnight Riot by Ben Aronovich. Um, so this is the Rivers of London series, maybe? I don't know. I'm so bad at series names, guys. Uh, but <laughs> it's like an urban fantasy police procedural. Um, I liked it, but didn't love it. But my best friend has really been liking it, and so I think he may have convinced me to give it another shot. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Um, so then we have Blood Song, which is the first book in the Raven Shadow series, where um, Tower Lord and Queen of Fire are books two and three. We've got like the last stack of books. So we've got the Grisha Trilogy, Shadow... I enjoy these, but I don't know if I'd necessarily reread them, so I'm not sure I'm going to hang on to them. Um, but the, I mean, they were like good enough. Um, oh, this is Iron and Magic, which is like kind of a spinoff of the Kate Daniels series by Elena Andrews. Um, Winter of Ice and Iron by Rachel Neumeyer. Uh, this is like a standalone fantasy, I think, that was like kind of like a... I don't know, snowy, atmosphere, fantasy. I, I, th I think I liked it pretty well. Um, then we've got Ruins and Revenge and Tre Treasure and Treason by Lisa Sheeran. So these are the two spinoff of the Rain Veneris series. And this is, follows a, uh, a goblin who, you know, is, is in the main series. Um, yeah, so we've got that. Uh, I've got Year One by Nora Roberts, which is the first book of the, what is this, the Chronicles of the One series, which is kind of like paranormal romance, post-apocalyptic thing. I, I liked this a lot. Um, I have been wanting to get the second book in the series, and I think the third one comes out later this year. Oh, and then we got The Rose and the Thorn by Michael J. Sullivan. So this is, what is, right, God, why can I not remember how to pronounce this? Ryuria, Ryuria Chronicles. Um, yeah, I think these are like, it's, it's nothing like outstanding, I guess, that like, it's, it's, it's like a very typical fantasy series, but it's, it's really good. It's like very easy to read, just chill fantasy. Um, I won an arc of Priest of Bones last year, which was, I think it's like a grimdark kind of godfather type fantasy. Um, I did like that quite a bit. And then we have Steelheart, which is the first book of the Reckoner series by Brandon Sanderson. Um, I liked it. wasn't like super impressed with it. Uh, I haven't continued the series. Um, I guess I should. I don't know. I think his other books are better. Like that's among my least favorite of his his works um but yeah so lots of lots of books here uh i desperately need a new bookshelf <laughs> well my audio was doing weird stuff again so i'm just going to do a voiceover as we like very slowly and dramatically plan over all of these books uh yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you're reading something awesome. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books or just have general thoughts you want to share about them. Um, yeah, we can, we will just, uh, if, if you liked this, feel free to give it a thumbs up, as that would certainly help me out. Um, we can <laughs> dramatically watch all these books again. Uh, but yeah, with that, I think I will we'll wrap it up and see you in my next video.